Hello, my name is Philippe Lemercier, and I'm a resource manager in the Swissplot group. And I'm Jair van Bolleman, and I try to make all this wonderful Swissplot data accessible to you over the websites. Today, we are going to talk to you about adding images from Swiss Biopix to your resource, why and how. Swiss Biopix is a freely available library of interactive biological images for visualization of subcellular location data. It covers all cell types for kingdoms of life, ranging from muscle, neuronal, epithelial cells of animals, to rod, cookie, clubs, spirals, and other more exotic form of bacteria and archaea. Um, you see, for example, um, the animal cells are 71 locations in Swiss by Peak images. You see a budding yeast cell, which is quite different. Uh, unicellular green alga with 47 locations and a rod sepal bacteria. So these are examples of the different cells that are available in Swiss Biopix. Swiss Biopix um, is made of interactive images. You see the uh, demonstration on SwissBiopix.org in which you can highlight, click on, on every subcellular location, every organelles, and even got a definition on it. It's all embedded in the pictures. Uh, the images are in uh, SVG format and include a RDFA schema.org markup to allow reuse of information. So basically, you can, from your, from your data, just plug uh, uh, and, and highlight any subcellular locations using either the Uniprot code or the gene ontology accession numbers. And everything is embedded into the picture already just need a, a web interface to do so. Swiss Biopix is already used in uh, Uniprot for subcellular allocation of a protein. It's also used in open targets. And now Javen is taking you uh, to give instruction of how to use uh, actually Swiss Biopix web component. So Swiss Biopix is a standard HTML element which means that you code it and use it from HTML web pages. So please imagine you have a very simple web page. You first introduce a dependency on the Swiss Biopix JavaScript. Then you add a template to say, hey, I would like the subcellular locations to be rendered like this. And then you just call the Swiss Biopix API via the Swiss Biopix element to say forward taxonomic identify 9606 or in this case human please give me an image which will be the best for the subcellular locations 18 and 20 and then render it for me which will give you a result like this where you get the right kind of image the right kind of text automatically added now this is really nice for a quick demo but if you want to use it properly please do use it as an npm module and if you want to do advanced styling, contact us for help. Thank you for your time. And of course, everything in Uniprot and Swiss Pilot requires a big team to make it to the best. And thank you for listening. <laughs>